idea. Indeed. And I think I've finally found my inspiration. I told you gelato had that effect on people. Uh, I don't think it was the gelato. Was that a flirt? Are you flirting with me, Eugene? Uh, I, uh, well, well, yes, I suppose it was. Is that okay? You're so easy to rattle. I love messing with you. Oh my gosh! Are you for real? Lucy, hey! What's up? Oh boy. What's up? You told me you had to go to the bookstore to look at the magazines. Where are they? Um, we, uh... We haven't made it there yet. No one is even talking to you, new girl. So feel free to catch bronchitis or something because no one wants to hear you. If you and Eugene were such good friends, you wouldn't be acting like this. It's totally disrespectful. What are you? A psychiatrist? No. I'm just someone trying to get to know someone better, and you're not making it very easy. Good. Because I'm just trying to spend more time with my best friend. He'll be off to Japan soon, and I can't even say goodbye properly. Japan? Okay, now this is getting crazy. I think we all just need to start over. Sorry. No need for that. I'm done with you. You sit there and let her say what she wants to me. You never once stop to think about how I might feel about losing my best friend. Who said anything about losing a best friend? Please. You're smarter than that. You'll call every once in a while, then it will be an email or two, and then I'll get to see you at our ten-year reunion and you'll be bald and unhappily married with three kids. Now you're going overboard. Plus, my family has an impeccable track record when it comes to hairlines. That's fine because you don't have impeccable detective skills. I'm the one who took your pictures. You should have listened to Nancy Drew over there. She's not as dumb as she looks. But you knew how important those pictures were to me. Why would you do that? Because I thought I knew how important I was to you. I see I was wrong. Enjoy the rest of your date. Wow, I'm really sorry about that. It's cool. It actually makes more sense now. I am taking up your free time. I'd probably be upset too. Yeah, I guess. And why did you never mention Japan to me? That's kind of a big deal, you know. I know. I just... I guess I didn't want to scare you off. I like it when you're around. And how long will you be gone? The internship is supposed to be for a year. Only a year? That's it? The way she was acting, it was like you were going away forever. Nope. Only for a year. Besides, we could always chat online, right? True. Might be a little hard, though. It's a pretty big time difference. Fine. We'll chat on the weekends and email during the week. That could work, too. I should probably know when you're leaving so I don't show up and be like, uh, where's Eugene? There's a possibility that I won't get to go. I still have one more portfolio for them to critique. Another one? What do you have to do for this one? Just some fashion shots. The internship is for a fashion magazine. Fashion photography? Are you for real? That doesn't seem like you at all. Yeah, I've done a pretty good job of shedding stereotypes all my life. Probably just you and Lucy know that about me. Well, get on it, boy. What are you waiting for? I'm waiting for you to finish your gelato. You eat so slow. Yeah, well, I don't even think I'm in the mood to finish it. I know. I'm sorry. You know what might make you feel better? If you didn't go to Japan? No. Helping me. So basically, helping you to go to Japan? Well, yes. And why would I do that? Because you know it's what's best for me. I don't know. It depends. What do you want me to do? I'll tell you tomorrow. Meet me in room 104 and I'll go over the details. Fine. It's a date. I should get going. I'll see you later then. Can I help you, dear? I'm here for the job. Oh, lovely. 
It's a basic rate for all items, and I'll give you a bonus if you do it quickly. Yep. Dry cleaning. I just love to see all the clothes come out nice and clean and fresh. I just love to see all the clothes come out. Nice and clean and fresh. Yeah! I love yeah! dirty laundry. Dry cleaning. Thank you for the help, dear. Here's your wages. Please come and help me again, dear. The time is now 10 p.m. Okay, so what happened? Well, we're going on a date. He's taking me out for gelato. Okay, two things. One, Eugene is pretty weird. No offense, so I'm surprised you even tried. And two, you absolutely have to try the watermelon flavor. I would so eat it every day if I could. That's just it. He got this device that picks out the best flavor based on several personal questions. I'm having the chicken chow mein flavor, if they make it. Gross! I know, and I'd rather deal with nasty gelato than this whole Lucy issue. <gasps> she didn't dye it purple, did she? No. She's just a jerk to me all the time, and I can't stop thinking about her stealing Eugene's pics. That's strange, because I've never heard about her treating anyone like that. What did you say to her? Nothing that would make her mad. But you've been spending a lot of time with Eugene, right? Well, yeah. You think that's the reason? It shouldn't be. I heard a rumor the other day and I guess Lucy has a thing for Petey. Who told you that? I can't reveal my sources. What kind of rumor spreader do you think I am? Right, okay, so I know that I have my own idea of how to dress, but, well, I'd like to get advice from someone like you. You might be taller than most guys in those shoes, but no one will even care. Good morning. What are you talking about? No morning before 11 o'clock is good. If you want to go shopping for the date, I'll be at the school. Great. Thanks for the offer. Oh, stop it. Today's going to be a good day. <laughs> <laughs> 